life depends on trying to figure it scribble I could let loose Dodging the dribble that they trying to throw my way I think I figured that them figures out to get you Let them pull the strings that trigger what you say Think it's difficult to get out on my brain I wish life went in any other way But it's all side roads to nowhere And I can find a map that seen them out my place My heart frigid when it sit inside that cold air That exists between our lack of shit to say But I always wanna spend my time with you Even when I'm walking, got no change Hello, hello, it feels like forever since I've spoken to a camera and to be honest it has, it's been absolutely well, weeks and weeks and weeks, and God knows when our last weekly vlog was. It's safe to say that during lockdown, I just felt like not vlogging, didn't feel like I had anything to say, um, and didn't feel like I had anything worth showing you. Last week I'd been doing some new things, trying new things, trying to make new cocktails, um, looking at making some elderflower cordial, made some lavender syrup, just been doing like weird things that are quite fun. And so I thought actually this week could be a good, good time to vlog because I'm feeling a bit more myself again. What you just saw there was my daily workout. I've been doing it with my family over on House Party. We all look at each other on House Party, but we all watch Joe Wicks's PE class in the morning and we all do it in sync together. And that's really good fun. That's definitely got me out of bed every morning. I've really enjoyed that. It's gonna be quite sad when he ends it actually, because I can't imagine gyms are gonna open in anytime soon. And we're all really enjoying staying active by doing that. So I hope he doesn't end it. But also I understand he's been doing that a lot. Another thing that I've been trying recently. Well, not that recently, but will you stay there for me? Another thing that I've been trying during lockdown, which is something that I did try in Singapore, is pour over coffee. This is like their little system. You put the coffee in there. Um, you put this filter thing over it. And then you pour in hot water. It takes ages but it's really really tasty we actually bought this one in vietnam and yeah i'm really enjoying doing that also we've run out of other coffee um which is why we're doing it but i'll show you this is the coffee we've been using it's a packed coffee um i think i was gifted it a while ago and yeah it tastes really good like it's really nice to have like not such a strong coffee, but a smooth coffee in the morning. The only problem is I'm not sure I'm doing it completely right because it's usually cold by the time I go to drink it because it takes so long to pour into my cup. Though, I quite like an iced coffee so I just add an ice cube to it and pretend it was meant to be that cold. Hey guys, how you been? It's been a while. Um, we've been in lockdown. Everybody's been in lockdown. Uh, I thought I'd catch you up to how I've been. Um, I missed the pub. So I made a pub garden yeah, yeah. in our garden yeah. with Pete. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> my life depends on trying to figure a scribble I could let loose. Dodging the dribble that they trying to throw my way. I think I figured that them figures out to get you. Let them pull the strings that trigger what you say. That was really fun. That was good. Uh, I learned how to make a face mask. I also brought a face mask and then Pete put it in the tumble dryer and it shrank. But it's okay because I've learned how to make a face mask. I mean, for me, I've been very scared of going outside. So if it means that I'm a bit more comfortable with going outside, it's good. And I know that if I had anything, I'm protecting other people. And if people are wearing masks, they're protecting themselves and other people. So yeah, my book is out in a month ebook form. Weird, I haven't actually like seen it or felt it yet because of the current situation. So I don't know when I will, but that will be interesting when I do get the chance. I did a TikTok. Um, I did a TikTok talking about my hands because obviously they've been struggling in this situation and it got a lot of views, which was insane. And we had like a cute little community on TikTok talking about like, emetophobia and OCD. I don't know if I have OCD, but a lot of people are related to me and they have OCD. So that's interesting. Fun story. We started painting the doors that Ryan made for our like under the stairs, kitchen, larder, cupboard thing. And then um, Ryan didn't finish it. So we waited and then Ryan finished it. And then by the time Ryan finished it, a few months later, um, we forgot what paint it was. 
that we used to paint the doors and we couldn't find it anywhere. <laughs> now I'm gonna have to paint them all a different shade of grey because we couldn't find the original colour, so that's uh, fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My life depends on trying to figure a scribble I could let loose Dodging the dribble that they trying to throw my way I think I figured that them figures out to get you Let them pull the strings that trigger what you say Think it's difficult to get out of my brain I wish life weren't in any other way But it's all side roads to nowhere And I can find a map that seemed to mark my place My heart frigid when it's sitting inside that cold air That exists between a lack of shit to say I'm making a kiss kiss cat Salad. Uh, I have burnt the kiss kiss both times. I can't seem to work out how to do it. Follow the instructions, follow the measurements. I just cannot work out how to cook kiss kiss, so any help would be appreciated. Not how I wanted, but you know what? You learn. Maybe I'll do quinoa next. Peach just got back from food shopping. I always make sure he's wearing a mask. Uh, I'm a little bit too scared to go to food shopping, so he's being an angel and always doing it for me. But I thought I'd show you. We wipe things down before we put them away. It, not everybody has to do this, but for me, it makes me more comfortable to wipe down off. Um, let me get my gloves on. Um, I probably shouldn't wear gloves because I can just wash my hands after, but because they're so dry at the moment, I do every little bit that I can to protect them. Hello everybody, um, the noise is the cooker in case you can hear it. I am in my gym gear because I did my workout again this morning, um, but I can't be bothered to have a shower or get out of my gym gear, so I'm probably gonna stay in it all day. I just wanted to show you, um, I know I said that we were thinking about making elderflower cordial. Well, we made some. Um, we haven't tried it yet because it has to like be strained in a few hours time and then we can try it. I've made the elderflower cordial, which is in a bowl over there, I'll show you in a sec, and Ryan's attempted to make elderflower champagne, which won't be ready for two weeks, but it's all very exciting. A while ago, Ryan got a book, the Dick Strawbridge book, the one that he did with his son, um, and he followed that recipe. So yeah, so that's really exciting. If this works, I'm hoping that we'll do more things like this, using things that you can forage in season, my mum used, uh, did, my mum did something with wild garlic the other day and I thought that was quite cool. So yeah, I just wanted to update you and now I'll show you them. So there's my elderflower soaking in its syrup there. It looks not that pretty, but it looks prettier in person. And then Ryan's potions here. Um, yeah. And I'm planning to do a blog post on it if I haven't already. So let me know if you'd be interested in that. But yeah, it's quite fun. As you can see, he's been having a good time too. First of all, look how, first of all, look how great my lavender is doing. The bees are loving it. To think I thought this had died last year is hilarious. Secondly, I just got an exciting parcel. I'm not sure if you can see that, but Pret are selling their coffee on Amazon now and they really kindly sent me some and Amelia some and I'm super excited to try it. Years ago, when me and Amelia worked for MTV, we used to have a strong latte from Pratt every morning before we worked for MTV and did like the news segment. Anyway, so whenever I have Pratt from then on, uh, like a Pratt coffee, it always makes me think of working with my sister uh, for MTV. So it's full of some great memories. So yeah, thank you Pratt. Thanks for the gift. This is gonna last a long time. Can't wait. Hey, and this is the end of the vlog. Thank you very much for watching. I'm aware I've just lived in this gear all week. To prove that I haven't just like filmed this all in one day, I'm wearing a white sports bra today instead of a black one like I did for the rest of the week. Um, thank, you very, thank you very much for watching guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and we'll see you soon.